Hi, I'm Natalie from Sheen Slings and I'm going to show you today the difference between a one-way and a two-way stretchy rope. So this is a one-way stretchy rope and you can see that this wrap stretches quite a lot along its width. So if you can see, so you can step back so you can really see it, it'll really stretch quite a way out along its width. But then if we compare along the length, it stretches almost at all. So now I'm putting a lot more force in. You can see I'm getting very little stretch along its width. And the reason for this is simply that this is made from, I don't know if you can see, a very densely knitted, knitted material. And so the stretch comes from the, from the way it's knitted. There's no elastic or anything from it. This is 100% cotton. And that stretch along the width is just from how the material is knitted together. Um, and then if we have a play, you can see it stretches a medium amount diagonally. So sort of half the, the, half the stretch of the width and the length, you get a sort of a medium amount diagonally. Now if we compare this to a two-way stretchy wrap. Oh, here's a two-way stretchy wrap. You can see this stretches along the width and along the length. And I'm not needing to put too much force in at all to doubt that. And then if we look at diagonally, it's stretching again quite equally along the diagonals. And that is because this, again, knitted material, but um, this contains elastane. So it contains a small percentage of elastic, which is giving you that even stretch. So it's stretching in both dimensions. So what does this mean? Well, <clears throat> most stretchy wraps, most manuals of stretchy wraps and most of the way people teach how to use stretchy wraps is a pre-tied method where you tie the wrap to yourself first and then pop the baby in. That's much easier to do with a two-way stretchy wrap because they stretch more and they stretch more evenly in a way you, your mind predicts and it's more easy to intuit. Um, so it's, it's very easy to put the sling on, get it tight enough that it will support baby once they're in, but still be able to stretch it out as you're putting them in um, and get them safe and secure easily. When it comes to the one-way wrap, because it's much less stretchy but also less even, so less predictable, it's quite hard to tie this tight enough that it will support baby once they're in, but still loose enough that you can actually get them in. So tying a one-way stretchy wrap is a lot more like setting a temperamental old toaster, where there's just a couple of millimetres between raw bread and burnt toast. Um, so that makes this quite a lot harder to use on the pre-tied method. You can tie these in other ways and not to pre-tie them, but often the reason people have chosen to go for a stretchy wrap in the first place is to have that ease of being able to pre-tie and pop baby in and out. So if you're a parent who hasn't bought a wrap yet, um, I hugely recommend you invest in a good two-way stretchy brand rather and stay clear of a one-way for now, um, just because you will find it that little bit harder. The con, of course, of a more stretchy wrap is they generally aren't quite as supportive as baby gets much bigger. But often parents are moving on at this stage, this point anyway, as babies tend to grow out of the stretchy wraps developmentally more, rather than physically. So it's not a big con. But if you had a reason where you were likely to use a stretchy wrap or something for much longer, then a one way might be a good option because it will last much longer. And that you still might find a good two way or um, a little bit easier, at least in the beginning, while you're getting used to it. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.